My name is Shaharis. I'm the founder of Hackernest. Hackernest is a global nonprofit organization that builds local tech communities around the world. We hold monthly tech socials where the point isn't to network, it's to make new friends. Where nerds can come out and be nerds. Surrounded by friends, surrounded by your kind. This weekend, Hackerness is running Dementia Hack. It's a 24-hour hackathon, the first in the world of its kind, dedicated to helping people who have dementia and their caregivers. We really wanted to humanize Dementia Hack. That's why we brought in people who have dementia, caregivers, clinicians, and researchers, to really give developers a holistic view and insights into what living with dementia is like so that the products that are generated are actually relevant for people, actually helpful. Our focus really is on longevity. It's not a let's raise awareness hackathon, it's a let's actually produce products that are going to help people on the other end. The British government is taking the winning team, flying them to the UK and around Canada to present and demo at major healthcare conferences for major companies and medical professionals. They're going to help you become a company whether you like it or not. One in three people aged over 65 have dementia and we believe that this is going to be a growing challenge for our society and for global societies. I'm really excited by this one initiative taking place over three days between two cities that is the first step in a major journey to address a global need. We have about a hundred people and about 20 teams competing. What is a hackathon? Um, a hackathon is a very condensed event that brings together multidisciplinary people from development, tech, and an industry background to create a real product in a very short time space, usually 24 to 48 hours. A hackathon is grueling, exhausting, and mentally fatiguing. It is also exciting, energizing, and mind-blowing because it's a chance to just be creative and just try stuff and just execute it and you don't have time for bullshit. You just need to get it done. Everyone on my team was a stranger before this, but I'm glad to have met amazing people who are really intelligent and have their own areas of expertise and we're all driven and working together to find a common solution. Some people still think of hackers as the ones who uh, get into doing illicit stuff. But I think more and more people are understanding that hackers are not really people who are intending to do negative. They're actually trying to uh, do something different, improve things. We're using Chromecast to project um, notifications directly to the patient's television screen. My team is working on a wearable mouse. We're developing a musical app which will allow people to play the drums with their hands without having to touch anything. The musical part of the brain remains intact, so by tapping into this we're helping people reconnect with their memories, their emotions and their identity and what previously was perhaps completely lost, we're able to take that back and retrace from it. We're working on an app that will basically be a, a calendar slash reminder system for people with dementia. And, the, and basically what it will allow them to do is create routine. Care Umbrella is a portal that uses NFC technology to connect uh, patients to instructions and memory triggers. A common day example would be an NFC tag that you apply onto a microwave or a common appliance at home so a loved one can actually tell them how to use it or they could actually videotape the actual patient and that video would pop up every time they touched the tag on that appliance with either a phone or a watch. The great thing about hackathons, everyone has this common goal and there is a very strong chance that from beginning to end they can accomplish said goal in work, corporate life, you're a cog, you're, you're one tiny fraction of a massive mammoth behemoth thing. And you never really get to see tangible representation of what you've been working on. In a hackathon, in this very unique environment, you get to see the fruits of your labor and you get to know that your contribution was critical to it.
we have green. It's that feeling, I think, which drives people to do hackathons over and over and over again because it's like a high. It's it's being it, it's it's special. Over the last 24 hours, we've probably been working for about 18 hours straight and had a little bit of break for a bit of sleep and a shower and some food. We have one hour to go. I feel positive. Um, everything is built. Really what we're doing now is really trying to polish our, our presentation. That's all we're doing for the next hour or so. The demos are key. Uh, it all comes down to presentation and how well you can explain how your product helps people who have dementia. We have a panel of six judges, and they span the spectrum of healthcare and tech. Um, we have three PhDs on that panel. Pretty impressive. This is uh, Lauren, Lauren, Christine, and uh, Jean Michael. And the concept we're going to demonstrate today is adaptive uh, video game design. There's a lot of pressure on tech people because typically they are not the industry's pitchmen. So being able to put together an amazing project is great, but being able to talk about it is in itself an entirely separate skill set. A good presentation needs to catch me in the first sentence with why. Once you've got that, then I need to have clarity about what solution you're developing, how it's going to answer the why, and if it's going to really be able to be rolled out and somebody's going to really want to buy it. Meet Grace. Grace is 63 years old. Uh, she lives with her husband at home. She suffers from Lewis bodies type dementia. She's very comfortable around the computer, however, has difficulty accessing a mouse. Clarity is a simple, easy to use, innovative, smart calendar queuing function for seniors with dementia. What I often say to startups we work with is, Getting the idea and prototyping the solution is about 2% of the work. 98% is implementation and actually extracting the value. Now you're wondering, is there a lot of programming involved in this? No, there isn't. Our portal actually simplifies that task for you. So a patient would get a, a let's say, a purchase a stamp with 20 NFCs. They're already pre-coded. And now Steve will show you how easy it is to code these NFC tags. So our philosophy is to bring tech to their homes, on devices that they already use and know how to use. So Carebook has a low learning curve and then but it's modular enough that it can adapt to their changing needs. Judges are going to deliberate, decide and debate as to which the best team is to represent Dementia Hack around the world. And for our grand prize, congratulations to Care Umbrella. Yeah. No, I, I can't wait uh, to go to London and um, definitely work with the people down there. So it's, it's great, it's great. Um, I think it'll sink to me more later on after I uh, get some rest. It was really cool when someone came up to me uh, a couple minutes ago and said, you know what, we loved your presentation, but more importantly, if, if all of us could actually come together and think about this, we could actually, and he said, we could actually solve this problem. This was a really easy hackathon to muck up in terms of content and I think we approached it with just the right amount of integrity, dignity and respect. I think we did a really good job with that and I'm quite proud of that. After this hackathon I gotta go work on another hackathon. I really don't know what I'm doing with my life. Thank you all very much for coming out. Hashtag Hackerness, hashtag Dementia Hack. Woo!